Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my fourth week of Slimming World update. So I'm just going to start off by saying it went so well this week. After such a down week last week I thought I've got to bring this back. I've got to start doing Slimming World for myself and I did. I really really tried so hard this week. I was feeling so motivated all week and just everything went really really well. So as a lot of you know, eating carbs does not really work for me, especially when I'm trying to lose weight, carbs just don't really work very well for me. So instead of having a lot of carbs this week, I cut them down so much, like loads, and um, I had two two noodle pots, um, I'll have to show you them another time because I don't have them with me at the minute, but I'm going to do a video telling you about the low, low in kind of noodle pots that I found that I really love. Um, I also had a carvery um, when I have a carvery I try to make sure I cut all the fat off of the meat I don't have any kind of stuffing or anything like that I do allow myself a Yorkshire pudding but they're only two and a half sins if they're the frozen ones they're just put in the oven and they cook so I have allowed myself that and I saved pretty much most of my sins on Saturday for my carvery so I have the meat with the fat cut off, I have carrots, broccoli, all kinds of veg and potatoes but I limited myself to like three potatoes so that I, it didn't really affect me that much. So I did have the three potatoes but I think they were pretty much all the carbs that I had this week other than the noodles. Um, I also ate so much fruit and veg this week, I upped my intake of fruit and veg, I had so much more speed food than I, than I did last week. I just really really tried to add speed food to every single meal that I had so I had it with lunch, tea and also sometimes with breakfast although Sometimes I forgot, usually with my breakfast I have satsumas or strawberries depending on which I have. So I tried to do that and then with my lunch, my tea, I usually have carrots, sweet corn, um, peppers or tomatoes because they're the only kind of veg that I really really love. Um, I also had a Subway salad, I love Subway salads, I think they're kind of my favourite salad that you can get eating out because you can add sauce and whatever you want to the salad. So. I think that if you haven't tried a Subway salad yet or you're new to Slim World and didn't know you could have a Subway salad then definitely have one. Um, I also lowered my sin intake, I didn't have half as many sins this week as I did last week. I had uh, up to 10 sins I'd say, I don't think I went over 10 sins this week which is like my aim for most weeks. So I don't know what happened last week, I think I just went a little bit off the rails but still within my sins. I know at the start of the week I didn't drink as much as I could but then towards the end of the week I pulled it back and I had a lot more um, in my hydrate mate, that's the one thing that I love is my hydrate mate, keeps me so on track when I do remember to fill it up. I usually have Ribena or water in my hydrate mate, mostly Ribena though and it still works because it's still liquid. I also did two fun things this week, I went to York and I went to Landudno and both of those there were so many temptations but in York that was when I had the carvery then on the way to Landudno I had the Subway salad so I really did try to stay within my sins and wherever I went I made sure that there was something that I could eat that was still on plan and still Slimming World friendly. I've also had a few Costa cups of teas this week. I don't know what it is about Costa but I've just fell in love with going to Costa and having a cup of tea. <laughs> um, I do count that as part of my healthy extra A because I don't use all my 250ml or 350ml of milk with my breakfast so I usually um, have a Costa cup of tea or just a cup of tea at home something like that with it Um, once again still haven't stayed at group I, ju I just feel like it's very very scary to do on your own might not be for lots of you but for me I just really struggle with going to group on my own I know eventually I'll be able to do it but right now I just don't feel like it's right for me and to be honest I'm doing okay on my own so I think just going to group and getting weighed is still keeping me on track for now. If I ever do feel like I want to go to group or I feel like I need to go to group, then I will. But this week I did so, so well. I lost two and a half pounds. 
so that's exactly what I needed to get my one stone award so I got my one stone award and let me get it for you I was so proud of myself because I wasn't sure if I'd get it or not but I knew I'd worked hard so I thought maybe I'd come close but I wasn't sure if I'd get it so here's my one stone award I'm so happy with it also I'm really loving the new style of the certificate since I've come back to Slim World. I think they're really, really cute. And then there's my sticker. So now I have two stickers on the back of my book. So in total, like I said, I've lost a stone. And um, my aim for the next couple of weeks, maybe like two or three weeks, is to get my one and a half stone award. So I'm going to give myself like three weeks, I think, just because... I don't really know how my Slimming World journey is going this time. It's taken a little bit longer to lose weight than it is last time, but I don't know whether that's just my fault because I'm not as on it this time. So I'm giving myself two or three weeks to lose my next half a stone. If obviously I don't get it within that amount of time, then that's fine, but that's just kind of like an aim that I've set myself just to have something to work towards. So something else I'd like to talk about is the fact that you guys have been so so lovely and welcoming back over this past month you've all welcomed me and been so supportive here on here and on my instagram and you've all just been so so lovely and especially the people who've commented i've loved seeing your comments and replying and just seeing all the kind of videos you guys would like to see you're all so lovely and it's been great to have such a nice warm welcome back so thank you all who have commented and if you don't leave comments but you do watch these videos then please do because it means the world to me. I love reading your comments and interacting with you all and getting to know you all and there's some people who have been commenting every single week and I just really appreciate it. So please comment if you haven't. Um, I really appreciate all your comments. Another thing which one of you informed me was you didn't actually know that I had an Instagram so this is my instagram if anyone is wondering it's lucy's underscore losing underscore it underscore slimming world so this is my instagram here i just post like most days actually i post little um photos and i do have a link to it there's one in the description box down below and there's one on my main page it says like instagram at the top there's also twitter but i don't use my twitter as much as i do my instagram and like i said every week i post my losses on there before i post these videos so if you want to see what i lost each week before you see these videos then go over there and have a look i think that's about it i know this i don't know if this is going to be a long video or a short video but i just wanted to do it for you and um, let you all know that I have lost a full stone now which I think is crazy another thing another thing is because I've lost a stone I've gone down to the next um, stone bracket which I was so excited for because it means I am one stone bracket closer to my target I mean there's still quite a few to go but at least I'm one stone bracket closer and I don't ever want to go back up to that next stone bracket that I was in so fingers crossed Next week I will have a good loss again. I'm just going to talk you through my question of the week and my product of the week. So my product of the week this week is Lotus Biscuits. So these are just what they look like. You get a little packet of two and they're kind of like the ones you get with if you go to a coffee shop. But I think you only get one if you go to the coffee shop. But yeah, these are my favourite of the week. And this is because I went to the pound shop and found these. So I just wanted to show you how many you actually get for a pound from the pound shop. You get 20 packets of two biscuits. So you get 40 biscuits in total for a pound, which I think is a bargain. And I know if you can find the chocolate covered ones, which I haven't been able to get, then they're still two things each or four things for the little packet so that's really really good i really like these um i don't know what it is i feel like they're just so sugary and if you're ever having one of those days where you just need sugar they're really really great so my question of the week this week to you is what is your slimming world food essentials so like what are the main things that you couldn't live without in slimming world so for me it's muller lights fry light um with chicken i don't really know what else but there's probably a lot of things that i don't realize that i count on so much on some world b 
baby bells i think baby bells are something that i count on a lot so i think it'd be great to know what kind of things you count on when um on slim and world so leave your comments down below i'd love to know what your kind of go-to items or essential items are when you're on slim and world and i will be back next week with a fifth and six week combined because I'm going to um, Bournemouth at the end of the week so I won't be able to go to Slimming World this week so I will have a combined video of Slimming World 5 and 6 but it won't make a difference because I'm a week behind with these videos I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I kind of makes, made sense throughout this video because I feel like it was quite rambly so if you liked it then give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos from me then subscribe, it's free and I know that a lot of people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed so please subscribe, it would mean everything to me and don't forget to leave a comment like I said because I love reading your comments and getting to know more about you guys. So that's it and I will see you on Sunday with another Slim World video, bye guys!